first look at Android 11 developer preview for running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Android 11 developer preview for port running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. How do you install this build? I have a separate video for that, which can be found in the description of the video and also in the pinned comment. Now this video is going to be a continuation of the developer preview to first look video which we had done. So I do recommend that you watch that video before you watch this one so that you know what are the changes and what's new and what has been reverted back by google first up we can press and hold on the home screen go into styles and wallpapers and as you can see the old ui of the wallpapers is back in developer preview 2 they had changed the ui to smaller square icons but in developer preview 4 google has reverted back to the old ui which we have in android 10 and while we are in styles and wallpapers if you go into style you still have the four default styles but if you try to create a custom style the fonts are the same the icons are the same the accent colors are the same but you have two new icon shapes so this hexagon is new and this floral design is also new me personally not a fan of either of them next up we can have a look at the new recents so this is your new recents as you can see at the bottom we have three different options one is screenshot second is select and then you have share we can go through what each of these options does so screenshot bam here it is takes a screenshot and as you can see we do have a new ui for the screenshot as well with the new animation so let me try taking another screenshot here it is you can now share and edit your screenshot right from here click on the cross to close it and a negative point here is that the screenshots do not show up in the notifications as you can see there is no notification for the screenshot so that is a negative point or a negative feature which i find and of course this new screenshot also works if you like take a screenshot by using the power menu so here it is we just took a screenshot using the power menu and we get the same ui and the same options next up we have select so if you tap on select you can now select your text from whatever current window is open or the current recent the other recents will disappear and you can copy paste select from here this is like an extension of google lens is what i feel then you have share so if you want to share this recent or this screenshot you can do that right from the share option and it is not going to save this screenshot in your gallery and of course like scrolling through these recents is pretty smooth and pretty fast on this port which we have for the poco f1 then you do have pixel launcher baked in so you can swipe down for your notifications and as you can see you do have notification history in the building along with a separate section for conversations or sms messages and then you also have alerting notifications a change you will notice over here is that you no longer have the option of bubbles so if you like press and hold on this there is no option for bubbles you have the option of setting the priority for this notification alerting and silent where do you get the option for bubbles well you tap on the gear icon or the settings icon and here go into advanced and bam there it is bubbles is on so messages will work like bubbles and because this is pixel launcher swipe right to access your google feed next up we can dive into the settings app and see what all new options and features we find so we can first go into network and internet select our wi-fi and then go into wi-fi settings you will see that this disconnect button is new it is not present in android 10 and it was added with android 11 developer preview 4 then this toggle of auto connecting to a specific wi-fi network is also new and you can either enable it or disable it based on your personal preferences going back into network and internet and hotspot and tethering you do have a new toggle for ethernet tethering and i'm not sure why it is not enabled for me maybe google just added the toggle and the functionality is not enabled in the back end then if we go into apps and notification and let's say we select the phone app and then if you go into permissions you have a new toggle which says remove permissions if app isn't used and it does not tell you after how many days months or years it is going to remove the permissions 
it only mentions that to protect your data permissions for this app will be removed if the app isn't used for a few months again no concrete date or a number from google when that is going to be done then if you go into sound we have a new option called play media 2 right now it is set to phone speaker however if you have a bluetooth device which is paired that will show up over here and you can of course control the volume or the media playback volume for that device using this slider and you also get this option if you expand the volume panel so here it is play media 2 phone speaker you get the same option if you try to access your volume panel here it is one more time going back into settings and then you can go into storage you will notice that this option is now renamed to manage storage previously it was called free up space now it is called manage storage and when you click on it you open the file manager or the files application and from here and you can determine what all files you want to delete in case you want to make more space on your device then if you have your gestures set up and you go into system gestures and system navigation click on settings you will see that you can now configure the sensitivity for the left and the right edge separately in android 10 there is only one option which works for both sides but in android 11 developer preview 4 google has added separate options for the right hand side and for the left hand side and last but not the least if you open your power menu you will see that the screen goes dimmer so the power menu is more prominent and if i do the same thing on my pixel 3 which is running android 10 you will see that i do have the new power menu but my background is not dimmed so the background or the wallpaper is pretty dimmed out in android 11 developer preview 4 when you open the power menu here it is one more time there it is the background or the wallpaper is pretty dim moving over to device side changes of this android 11 developer preview port for the poco f1 you do have widewine l1 in the building and voice over wi-fi has also been fixed all features and all functionality which was working in android 11 developer preview 2 port is still working the only thing which i could not figure out or get to work is google assistant it somehow crashes for me and it doesn't open in fact now it is working so might not be an issue after all and then your security patch of course has been updated to may 5th 2020 which comes with android 11 developer preview 4 of course rounded corner padding has also been fixed which means your rounded corners on the poco f1 should now be better than they were on developer preview 2 then if you have enabled developer options the option to hide the notch which developers have added specifically for the poco f1 works without any issues now and then the issue of hdr has also been fixed in the previous build if you played a hdr video it didn't play properly and you had to reboot your device for it to play properly well that issue has also been fixed in terms of smoothness and performance well the rom performs very good there is no excessive battery drain or anything like that and the gestures are smooth something which you do expect from roms which are based on aosp i know this rom is not directly based on aosp but the gestures are pretty smooth and of course if you have touch issues they do have different kernels available for you to try and last but not the least if your device fails safety net you will have to root it and then use magisk hide to bypass safety net and there it is peeps that was our first look at android 11 developer preview 4 port running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you